Dear Chime, I have something to confess. I've been cheating on you with other CRMs. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't want it to come to this. I still love you. You're still my favorite CRM. There are just some other CRMs that I really wanted to fool around with. Nothing serious, of course. They just have some features that you don't have that really impress me. Features that help me do less and close more. Features that help me to be lazy. A lazy agent. Trust me, I want to be with you. But unless you're willing to change, I'll never be able to fully commit to you. Love, your emotionally abusive realtor, Tommy. What's up guys, Tommy Mutchell here, your lazy agent. And recently, I have gone on an adventure. I went exploring and I tried out dozens of new CRMs. A lot of them, I've actually made videos about a lot of these CRMs and I have a lot more videos coming comparing Chime to other CRMs out there. And I have discovered some incredible features that Chime simply needs to add to their CRM if they want to stay and maintain that number one real estate CRM spot. So here is a list of 34 must add features that Chime desperately needs to add if they want to stay number one. Now, before we go down our full list, I want to stress the importance of the first five features that I'm about to request. Some of them might not make a lot of sense to you, but recently I've been playing with some other CRMs like Go High Level, Sierra Interactive, and there are some really incredible tools where you can easily integrate ChatGPT to take over your texting conversations, your email conversations, literally everything and fully manage your entire CRM. And with just a few small tweaks, Chime can easily allow this type of integration, which would absolutely change Chime forever. Because currently I'm using another CRM. I hate to admit that Chime, I'm really sorry, but I'm using another CRM right now for my text and automated emails. Just because it automates my entire conversation for me, and that is Go High Level with a Zapri integration and a Chat GPT integration. Now, this whole system is another 500 bucks. Go High Level, I'm not going to switch to go, go High Level completely because it doesn't have listing alerts. It doesn't do a lot of really cool things that Chime does, but it does have these features that I think Chime could easily implement. But if they add just these first five features, holy cow, game over. No CRM will ever touch Chime in the history of CRMs. Now, our first important Chime CRM feature is going to be a trigger, not just any trigger, but I want a contact replied trigger. So inside of our smart plans, and when a contact responds to a text or an email or just reaches out or sends us Chime members a message, I want Chime to be able to trigger a smart plan. That's really, really important. So if Chime can trigger a smart plan based off of a contact replying, that would be huge. Now, another feature to this is going to be reply channel. So if they reply via text message, via emails, via another form of communication, communication, maybe they call us, maybe like a missed call. Maybe you start adding other channels like Facebook and Instagram Messenger. I don't know, but just being able to trigger a smart plan based off whether a lead replied to a text or replied to an email would be huge. Our second feature that Chime needs to add is going to be repeat smart plans. Now, being able to repeat a smart plan, replay it again. If it auto applies again to a lead, for an example, let's just say we moved a lead from a hot pipeline to like a appointment set pipeline, and then we re-add them back to the hot pipeline. I want my smart plan that triggered for that hot pipeline to be reapplied or restart or be added again. So being able to have smart plans be reapplied, I think would be huge. And in my opinion is a must. Now our third feature that I want Chime to add is going to be a updated contact trigger. So when a contact is updated, let's say they get a new phone number added, a new email added, let's just say something changes, maybe a new listing alert, a new property alert is added. I want that to trigger a new Smart plan. For example, we have these custom fields inside of Chime. Chime lets you create these custom fields that you can use as custom variables inside of your smart plans. Now, I don't want to get into the nitty gritty in this, but you can do some really cool automation stuff if you turn this into a trigger. So if like one of these fields were to get updated, I want this to start a new trigger. Now I know that I have the custom date trigger. That's not what I'm talking about. I want if text is added to this field it to start a new smart plan. That would be absolutely huge. Game changer please Chime add that. All right, now our fourth automation that I want Chime to add to our CRM is gonna be another trigger. I got a few more triggers, but this is a really important one, is gonna be a not contacted trigger. Now, if we were to go to our Chime account and you see inside of Smart Plans, Chime has this trigger option for last touch. Now it has this not contacted already. However, I want 
not contacted by welcome email or property alerts or manual text messages or, or anything like that. Not just a not contacted in general. Basically, I want instead of the, the last touch, like I've last been in contact with them by text or email, I want a, I have not been in contact with them for 15 or 20 days or whatever I want. So being able to have that trigger is huge. Next up is updated webhooks. So inside of our Chime Smart Plans, obviously we can zap over information inside of our smart plans. Really, really cool. I'm so glad Chime has done that. However, I want them to update the information that is sent over to Zapier to include last message received. So anytime you receive a message over email, over text message. So again, when a contact replies or new trigger triggers where a contact responds to anything, they respond to an automation. I want that to send out a zap or a web hook that includes that most recent message. So again, it could be an email. It could be a text message. Hell, it could be a Facebook, Instagram, Google my business message. I don't care. In fact, actually you should add those, but we'll talk about that later. Just having more information in our smart plan webhooks would be huge. Now I got 29 more features I want to go over with you. That would be absolutely incredible. That Chime should definitely add into our CRM. But those first five that I mentioned are the most important, in my opinion, that will allow us to do some incredible things that other CRMs are currently beating Chime in. Now our sixth feature that I want Chime to add is going to be a missed call trigger. So again, we're back on triggers. A missed call trigger though, would be huge. The reason being is I want to either set a call reminder to call the lead or better yet, I want to automatically send out a text message every time I miss a call. I know there's a lot of ways you can add this chime, but I think a trigger for smart plans would be the best way to implement this missed call text message. Feature. Another trigger I would like to see added is a calendar event start time. Obviously, Chime has a really cool calendar integration. However, being able to follow up and send messages based off of a when a calendar is going to take place, like two hours before a, an event happens to send out reminder texts and emails would be really, really cool. So being able to add that trigger, a calendar start time trigger is important. An eighth trigger I would like to see is also a calendar event created. So every time a calendar event created, being able to create some sort of automation or start some sort of smart plan would also be a really good trigger. Another great trigger would be an RSS feed. So if you could start a smart plan based off of RSS feeds being active or getting information into them would be really, really cool. Would absolutely love that tool. Or another feature you can add, which is gonna be our 10th feature is gonna be webhook triggers. So again, instead of sending out webhooks in our actions phase is being able to trigger a smart plan based off of a webhook coming in. The feature I wanna see is a resumed smart plan. Now Chime obviously has the tool to automatically pause as smart plans based off certain criteria, but being able to have the option to resume a smart plan from where it left off automatically would be really cool. Again, a way I like to use this is, hey, maybe you have a lead in the hot pipeline and that triggers a smart plan and they move out of that hot pipeline and the smart plan pauses. Let's just say you have like a hot follow-up sequence with automated messages going out. Let's just say they then go back into the hot pipeline after a while and you want that messaging to resume right where it left off. The 12th feature I want is going to be applied smart plans to non leads. Now, for example, I asked earlier for a missed called text back, but what happens when you get a missed call from an unknown number or a number a lead that's not saved inside of your CRM, being able to trigger an automation or a smart plan, whether or not they are a saved contact inside of your database would be huge. So if a number I've never seen before calls me, I would love to be able to trigger that missed call messaging for a non saved lead inside of my CRM. Now, number 13 feature I'd love to see is a wait option. Now, obviously we have a wait timer inside of our smart plan. So it's like, Hey, wait one day before we send another message to the lead, but I would love a wait for a particular action option. So let's just wait for the lead to reply. Let's wait for the lead to look at a property. Let's wait for the lead to click on a link. Think of this option as a trigger inside of a smart plan that's already started. And then we're going to wait for something. And then once a lead does something, it's going to trigger a new event. Maybe a property alert goes out and I want to send them a quick text messages saying, Hey, I just sent you some new homes. What do you think? Our fourth feature request is going to be a link clicked trigger. So if a lead were to click on a link, I would love for that to start a smart plan. Maybe I'm sending them videos. I want them to check out or things like that. And they click on a video link. I want to trigger a smart plan based on them clicking that particular link. So adding custom links that people can click and trigger smart plans would be super awesome. Feature number 15 that chime needs to add is
is a library that we can upload our own smart plans to. I know it's a little bit funky with the triggers and how the trigger set up and everyone kind of customizes their Chime CRM to be different, but being able to upload our own smart plans, maybe with uh, instructions on how to set up the triggers or just some more information and then include unlock codes or maybe even like include like a paywall so people can like buy them if they want to. So like Chime, like you take 10% or something, but hey, like you could sell smart plans inside of Chime or just give them away for free or have like an unlock code. So if people want them, they can get them because let's be real, like I got a ton of smart plans. I've been selling for a while. If you want all my smart plans, you can get them down below and they work really, really well, but people don't want to manually add them. This is a really basic feature. I used to smell all up campaigns inside of Lion Desk. I think it'd be really awesome and really cool if Chime did that inside of Smart Plan Library. Feature number 16 is let me add GIFs. Please, for the love of God, just <laughs> let me add GIFs inside of our text messages. That would be really cool. GIFs are really fun. I think they're a really good, fun way to start conversation. So let me add gifts inside of Chime. Feature number 17 that I want to see inside of the Chime CRM is going to be able to send messages similar to text messages and emails, but to Instagram, Facebook, Google My Business, TikTok, like all these other channels. I want to see other channels added other than just texting an email. I want to see more channels added. Feature number 18. Additionally, let's add Facebook and Instagram Messenger and all these different messaging platforms or Google My Business Messenger. Let's add these messaging platforms to the inbox inside of Chime. So that way I can see all my social media conversations as well as my text messages and my emails and my missed calls. The 19th feature that would be really, really cool for Chime. And again, Chime, this would make you a lot of money, another money making opportunity. And that is to integrate ChatGPT into smart plans. Now, how do you do this? Great question. Go High Level does this really well. They actually just released it like not even a week ago, like three days ago, where as one of the workflow options, they call it workflows, they're smart plans or workflows, I digress. You can do a ChatGPT trigger. Now, what's cool is then in your future automation. So like if you do like a text message after this, and this is not part of my like chat GPT, how to build a robot type of stuff, but like you could, this would just be like a really cool tool. You could have a, then have a workflow or after the output is it could be a contact variable. What you can do is you could just use that contact variable in a lot of different things, maybe like in a, a postcard or a letter or an email or some sort of response. So having some sort of chat GPT output would be really, really cool, really, really powerful. Just a quick note though, for the chat GPT response, please, 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 please also include the memory key and the temperature. Now, anyone that knows anything about ChatGPT, you know, those are two very important things. So please, please, please add the memory key as an option. It's an optional field. And then the temperature adjustment would Cool, as long with the message body. And then just charge agents, like every time we use it, charge us like a penny or however many tokens it costs to use it. Oh, and use ChatGPT4 and ChatGPT3, because why not? Have both those options available. Or just do four. Four is better. Four is so much better than three. Just do four. The 20th tool I would love to see inside of Smart Plans is updating existing property alerts. Now this might be a little bit more complicated. I, I don't know if you could be able to do this, but being able to update an existing alert would be really, really cool. You'd have to use variable content. So again, in the custom field, Fields. Let's just say again, we have that contact updated trigger. So maybe like via Zapier, I update a contact custom field. I can use that then to update a property alert for a lead. Now I know that one probably sounds a little more far fetched and might be a little more complicated. I know you can do it. I know it's possible. I also understand that coding things like this can be a little bit difficult. However, let's jump into our next one, which is going to be feature number 21 custom conditional questions. Now, conditional questions inside of Chime is super. Super cool. I love it. Or conditional logic, whatever you guys call it. I think it's conditional questions. Really, really cool tool, but being able to add our own either through custom variables, like we talked or custom fields where you can add those custom fields to a client or through tags or just do both, like add both those options. So like if they have a certain tag, I, it's a yes, no question. If they have a whatever tag, a tag on, <laughs> I want to say pre-approved because you already had some of these created, but adding more features to the conditional questions would be huge. Additionally, or feature number 22, just update the entire conditional logic to be if this, then that logic or if else logic. And again, just add a ton more features to it, a ton more conditional questions, stuff that's a little bit more relevant, even if, and if possible, more customizable. Or example, which should also be feature number 22, add a family variable content. So let's just say, hey, if they have a spouse in their contact info, so let's just say they have a spouse or a family member of some sorts, let's just say we can have our if then, then, th then that logic if they have a spouse in there, I want to send them a custom message saying, hey, John, how are you and Deborah doing? I want to check in and see how your homes are. 
going. So being able to message based off of the spouse's name or another contact's name would be really, really cool. And again, if I had that, if this, then that logic, I could say, hey, if they have a another person in their family member and their family contacts, a spouse or anyone, then I can send them a message that includes both those names. Additionally, if they don't have another spouse or person in their family, it would just send one message saying like, hey, John, how's it going? Feature number 24 is group texting. Why can't I do group texting between two spouses? I know it's a feature you got to add. Okay. Like I'm not blaming you. I'm not faulting you. But being able to have this tool would be huge because there's so many times where a lead will try and start a text chain or group message. And I have to like switch to my personal cell phone because you can't do that in Chime. I know Sierra Interactive does it. The Interactive actually does a lot of features that I'm requesting here, by the way. Really, really cool CRM. Terrible user interface. I'm probably not going to switch, but an updated interface, I would consider it. And that's not a threat. That's just me being honest because I think it's a really good CRM. <laughs> the user interface in Sierra Interactive is garbage, but they have this feature and a lot of the features that I'm requesting right now. The 25th feature I'm going to request is going to be consolidate all conversations in the inbox. Now Chime has this really cool inbox tool. I love it. You can see all the conversations with all of your leads. However, I don't like seeing a, that a lead emailed up, me up here and then maybe they sent me a text down here. I'd love to just see one lead profile, include their text messages in there, include their email timeline, include their call history. Hell, include their Facebook and Instagram messages and, and integrate all those other messaging platforms. I want to see it in one spot, maybe different tabs that can switch between each, but just being able to manage and see all my conversations in one place. That way, if they send me an email, I know they sent me an email and a text message, which sometimes happens and sometimes they get lost and I get it gets confusing. Again, Go High Level is a really great CRM that does a feature very similar to this. Speaking of the inbox, the AI suggests writing tool is not a bad idea. However, I think Chime should take it to the next level and write suggestive responses based off of the previous conversation. So if the tool or the AI, which I know it can do, if it can just look at the entire conversation chain and then write a custom response based off of last few messages or maybe even the entire conversation would be super cool. Feature number 27 is create calendar events with Zapier. So again, let's just say we trigger a zap for whatever reason with whatever software, I want to be able then to update a Chime lead with a calendar event. So being able to add that event inside a Chime with a calendar would be really, really cool. I have not seen any CRM do that and that would be awesome. Just do it, please. That would be really cool. Feature number 28 is make a legit funnel builder. I know you get lead pages or landing pages. That's cool. You now we can do kind of build our own funnels with that, but actually having like a real funnel builder with a lot more editing tools would be awesome and really help chime to that next level. I know it's not going to be click funnel amazing level, but like you can get it close. Feature number 29 is going to be create custom forms with custom variables that you can then add to those custom fields. I know that custom fields update everything trigger doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, I think it would be huge and add a ton of really cool automation. And then one of those is being able to add custom information from like a form, like people submit information on a form, like a registration form. Again, make more customizable forms because they're kind of customizable, but they need to be a lot better. Being able to then export that data or map that data to custom fields for the lead would be cool. Feature number 30 is add more basic editing tools to the website, like add columns. Like let me add like two different columns where I can put two different blocks in each column. Add more like basic tools, nothing fancy. Like you got this fancy video block that I can add, but like I can't really change the text size that much. I can't really like make it like hyperlinked or do like a lot of stuff with it or like add like padding or change it up too much. Like being able to like edit the website more and just add some like basic editing tools would be huge and I would really, really love to be able to edit and customize my website. And again, I don't think you need to make it super complicated with all these blocks. Like you've added all these blocks for the website builder, which is cool. And they do a lot and, and it makes that drag and drop really easily, but just a basic website editing block kind of like Elementor or something where I could just plug it in, add multiple columns, full control over literally, <laughs> literally everything. Maybe like the padding, maybe the margins, a full on text editor. I know you kind of have that custom content block, but it's really confusing and hard to use. Just something more advanced would be really, really cool. Feature number 31 is add surveys. Let's add surveys. Why not? I know they're kind of like custom forms, but surveys are different and you do cool things with surveys. Add some surveys. Question number 32 is add custom questions for calendars. So again, calendars, a really cool tool inside a chime, but being able to add like custom questions more than just like leave your message, leave a name. I would love to be able to add like qualifying questions. Like, when are you looking to buy? Are you working with someone? You live in the area? Being able to adding more custom questions 
questions to calendars would be really cool. Which brings us to our 33rd feature, and that is to add more calendars, add more calendars, add more calendars where I can ask different questions and have different meeting locations. Maybe I want to meet over Zoom or Google Meets or schedule a phone call or meet however you want. Being able to set up different meetings for different events would be a really cool tool. And last but not least, the 34th feature that Chime should desperately add is going to be a text based property alert system. Let me text out property alerts. Oh my God, that would be amazing. Let me do it, please. All right, now, if you agree with me on any of these features, I need you to take this video and go email the Chime. Let's annoy the crap out of them. Sorry, Chime, don't mean to annoy you too much. But these features are really powerful and would be really, really important and vital towards automating our entire follow-up. Now, like I, like I said before, like I have this free course that most of you know about. Actually, I have a full course where I teach you how to automate your, basically your entire follow-up, but there's just a small portion and that I can't automate it. And that's due to limitations of Chime. Now I've been using some other tools and other CRMs that do that, but I don't want to be using multiple CRMs. So if we can get Chime to add at least just the first five features that are requested, at least just the first five, but if they can add all these features, holy cow, I would never have to talk to a lead again. I would just be going on appointments and selling houses and never have to talk to anyone. I know you probably don't believe me, but I swear to God, you can do it. Like there's YouTube videos showing people how to do this with other CRMs like Go High Level. In fact, if anyone wants me to, let me know down in the comment section if you want me to create a tutorial on how I've been doing this with other CRMs like Go High Level, I could totally show you how I've been automating like literally the entire conversation and the entire lead management process. It's absolutely insane. With that said, my name is Tommy Mutchler, your lazy agent, and I will see you in the next one.